What's up guys, I'm Mark and this is Brianna and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. <laughs> Today we're gonna go out and shoot some small game and this hunt is all about getting people in the woods that don't usually get out in the woods so we're gonna be AKA focusing <laughs> we're gonna be focusing on Bri today. <laughs> Wish me luck. Welcome to Swamp and Stomp. We're gonna shoot some squails. <laughs> squails? Squails. Nice. Nice. My name's David Rodriguez and welcome to Swamp and Stomp. Welcome to Swamp and Stomp. What's your name? Logan. And what's this channel? Swamp and Stomp. That's right. Yeah. What are you going to do today? Shoot some squails. Squails. Squails, huh? Going to shoot some squails today. What's up, YouTubes? This is Fox from Swamp and Stomp. Today we're doing a hunt, and we're going to be hunting small game. Let's do it. Pirate walks into a bar and he's got a steering wheel sticking out of his pants. The bartender goes, Hey, what's that steering wheel you got sticking out of your pants? And the pirate goes, Arr, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> when you think about it a little bit more, <laughs> you start to get understand more of it. <laughs> it's driving me nuts. <laughs> All right, Fox. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Wait a second. Let me search up jokes. Oh, boy. Oh, jokes. You're cheating. <laughs> Just search jokes. You're totally cheating. Not acceptable. <laughs> I didn't search anything up. I just closed out all my tabs. All right, so I just got to camp. Uh, I talked to Mark from Swamp and Stomp, and he told me where my student and his dad are posted up camping, so I'm going to kind of make my way over there and I'm gonna straight up go and like challenge him to a squirrel killing duel so uh but yeah I'm gonna sneak up I'm gonna kind of surprise him he has no idea I'm gonna be here it's gonna be sick Who this is? Yes. Who? You. Who is you? You. Are you ready to get challenged to a duel? Sure. <laughs> Do you know this is coach? Yes. Because my voice? Yes. Of course. He is, he is a smart one. You're too smart for your own good. Alright, well, this is Fox, and I'm basically challenging him to a squirrel killing contest, which I think he might win because he has a... Uh, I'm, the only time we've done this, I didn't get any squirrels, and we saw, like, at least four. Okay. Alright, well then, never mind. I like my odds now. <laughs> if, if that's true. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna blast him. I'm gonna get up there with him. I brought my spear gun to shoot him with. No. <laughs> I'll do my intro so people can go out and hunt if they want to. Um, so this is, is everybody here for, for the BHA small game hunt? Yep. Um, so we did one last year here uh, and it was a success. It was a blast. This is a great management area for small game. Especially because it opens up so early for small games, so you can get in here even before uh, waterfowl. But um, we did one in here last year, and, and you know we had a great time, it was a good success. So we said let's do it again this year. And last year it was actually a pretty damn windy day, and today is supposed to be calm as shit. So hopefully uh, that means we get some more squirrels uh, on the ground. But um, what's super cool this year last year we florida was not a chapter of bha um this year uh so this especially in south florida this will be post corona this will be the first event in south florida since florida is uh, now an official bha chapter so right. that's super right. cool yeah. that, that took a lot of hard work uh there was a lot of drama behind the scenes a lot of phone calls uh a lot of conference calls, um, but we finally got it done this summer, and uh, Florida is now a chapter. And um, 
I currently serve on the board of the Florida chapter. Uh, David also currently, who, by the way, I had I had met David on Instagram going back and forth, but he actually came out last year to last year's small game hunt, and I actually met him in person for the first time at that small game hunt. So he now serves on the board. Uh, Mark is now a volunteer. He, he's a state captain that is volunteering for the board. So um, if, if you guys, if you've got an idea for a rule change, if you see something on a management area you think needs to be addressed, like a management issue or something like that, and you think it's something that, that BHA should, should make comment on or step up about, um, uh, and you know one of us, like, you know, shoot us a message. We'll get it to the board. We'll get it in front of the board. You know, if, if you think these dates should be like this or whatever, if you got an idea, you know, shoot it to us and we can throw it in front of the board and see if it's something, you know, we want to go after because, you know, that's one of the great things about being in a group like this is that, you know, we, we got a little, we got a little power having that name, you know, having a national conservation organization back us up and we can go up to FWC and say, you know, hey, uh, we, we would like to see this rule change or that rule change. So, if you got any ideas, something you you know you, you think BHA should step up on, you know, please approach one of us. Um, that being said, if you're not a member, um, I would encourage you uh, to join. Uh, you know, it, for every membership, half that money goes directly to the chapter. So that's something um, that's going to support the chapter directly. And then every year after you renew, we get a percentage of your membership. So. That's basically how the chapter's funded right now. We have some fundraisers that we're hoping to plan. Hopefully as things go back to you know normal and, and we're done with coronavirus, but we'll, we'll do some events like some fundraising events um, and raise some more money. But right now, all our funding is coming from membership. And as you can imagine, uh, you know, uh, all of those groups that rely on donations are hurting right now. You know, membership fell a little bit with coronavirus, um, you know, people are hurting for money and I totally understand and get it but you know it's only $35 for the year so if you can spare that you know I would definitely encourage you to support uh, the chapter and also I believe if I, I think if there's like a meat eater link yeah Mark knows it that you can actually sign up for a membership and get a public landowner t-shirt which is like a $25 t-shirt so it's like you know uh, really you're signing up for for 10 bucks for the year and support the chapter so i think it's like i'm pretty this? sure it's uh backcountryhunter.org slash meat eater. slash meat eater but if you just google backcountry hunters meat eater you should find it it'll be like the first link so yeah. it's so, a cool shirt it's comfortable so yeah you get a, a shirt with your membership so it's a, a, a super cool deal and uh um, you know like i said when things open up again, we're going to do more events. We're going to do pint nights, we do fundraisers. The small game hunts were nice because we can meet outside. It's, you know, it's a safe place for groups to meet now. You know, I just ask that, you know, everybody maintain social distance. Uh, you know, when we do the lunch, I got some hand sanitizer. I would just encourage everybody to use it when they touch the food and stuff. Um, we're going to break off. Everybody can do their own thing for the morning, split off into little groups, go off on your own. To shoot some squirrels shoot some rabbits maybe a quail um I'll, i'm telling folks to be back here around 10 30. we'll see what everybody shot we'll do a group photo uh, with our harvest we'll clean everything up this is a check station they got some running water here throw your guts back there there's piles back in the bushes over there and then um, about 11 o'clock we're going to meet over at the campground a bunch of us brought some food um, most of it's going to be wild game food that we harvested this year, or just the season past. So it should be super cool. So go shoot some squirrels. Good luck. Make All sure right, you check in. Good luck, guys. Hey, everyone. It's uh, 7 a.m. And we're heading out to go uh, find some squirrels, bobcats. Beavers. What was it? Not beavers. Not yeah, beavers. No beavers. No beavers. Otters. Otters. Yeah, we can shoot otters. We can shoot hogs. We can shoot all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff. So we're heading out. We don't really know where to go. We're just gonna pick a spot uh, that looks good from the road. We can find some good oaks. Go 
duck out there and pop a squat. And uh, hopefully there'll be some squirrels. And anything else that uh, they can shoot. Yeah, we're gonna go to the oak hammock, right? Yeah, we're gonna find some oaks. We're gonna find some oaks, maybe some cool mushrooms. That'll be fun. She's more interested oh. in finding mushrooms than squirrels. <laughs> Comment down below what your favorite mushroom is. <laughs> Magic is not an answer. Yeah, there's uh, other Facebook groups for that. <laughs> All right, wish us luck, bye. <laughs> uh, Jack, what just happened? What just happened? <laughs> Got some quail, not some squail, some quail. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't get that. <laughs> Show us your treasures. A quail? We got a quail. quail. Fox, you're done, son. We got a quail. <laughs> That's some quail. That's cool. Twin quail. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Two twofer. I got a twofer. Nice. Beautiful quail. American bob white. These are American bob white. They're quail. They're delicious. So pretty amped up. What, good, good start to the day. <laughs> so we're at a little oak hammock here and we're actually going to go ahead and um, work our way through here. There's a fence line that we can follow. You guys know how, how I like fence lines. So he really likes see them. see if we can find some squirrels. About to hatch. <laughs> Nice. You got away? No, no, he's on the other side of the fence. He's right over here. See where all those moths just came? So, so we had a booner squirrel, big old, big old boss squirrel come out and uh, and outsmarted us. Unfortunately, looks like um, that one got away. Definitely gave it hell, but uh, it was one step ahead of us each time. What's up guys, Danny from Swamp and Stomp reporting from the duck blind. And as you know, um, if you follow us on Instagram, you know how we get down. We got the chicken wings out here. I'm joined by my wife, Miss Swamp and Stomp, Danny. And uh, if you are enjoying this video, please uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And also, if you want to come out to one of these small game um, hunts, uh, we'll drop the, the details down in the description. And um, also click on this video over here for the giveaway that we're doing this quarter. It's a extra cool one. And if you want to get extra entries into that giveaway, um, join our Patreon page. We'll drop the details for that down in the description as well. All right, I'll get back to the video. Peace. This next one, we're just gonna sit down. Isn't that a deer? It's a deer. Where? Look straight ahead. She's looking at us. She's uh, looking right at us. Her ears are up. Where? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, is it a doe? I don't know. Oh, I thought you could zoom in. I'm zoomed as far as it'll go, <laughs> but that screen's tiny. She's checking us out. Good eye, baby. Uh huh. Oh, there's the deer. Hey there, big girl. She thinks we can't see her. She's like dead still. Don't worry, dear. Yours. What? Don't worry, your season's over. Got him. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. Right in the heart. 
got him. Yeah, we got one. along the fence line or something. Mm-hmm. Alright, so we see one. Oh, Alright, here, take 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 the shot. Right through there. Oh wait, hold on, he's moving. He's he, he moved out. He moved over to the right. Come here. his head. Do you see it? He, he, right at the base of the... Oh, he's moving right here. Got him. You got him. There he is. <laughs> he was, nice, dude. He was hit already. No, was, he, was it maybe with a pellet? I think I hit him the first time. Oh, yeah. Um, go get him. Go, okay, dude, go yeah. claim your kill. Grab his tail. First kill. Awesome. Clean kill. Now you have to eat his heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I got two. Shot one. I misfired like four times. And luckily I still got the shot. And once he uh, dropped, he was like on the ground dying. And then another one went nutso up in the tree. and was like hissing at me. I couldn't get the GoPro out because I was like trying to deal with my gun. But there's one. And then the other. Right her. So yeah, got some meat. I'll see you guys back at the truck. All right, thanks for uh, checking out another uh, Swamp and Stop episode. This one was put together by uh, BHA, um, the Florida chapter. If uh, you guys want to go give them some support, please uh, go check them out at backcountryhuntersandanglers.org. Country um, We're going to put all their information down in the description as well. Also, if you want to come out to one of these small game hunts, um, we'll put that down in the description. But also, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions on how we did this and how we put everything together, 
uh, drop the comments down below. Peace.